All right, so today we're going to be making uh, our score actually change in the game. So if I make a match, and then as the number of matches that gets made increases, the value of each piece increases as well, and then resets after everything settles. So let's uh, dive right in and get started. All right, so last time uh, we made our resizable UI. So if I resize this window that our game's in, the UI resizes with it. Uh, today, let's actually start making that uh, score change like it's supposed to. So the very first thing I want to do here is I want to go into my top UI scene again. So I'm just going to uh, click on this little clapboard next to it, and that opens the top UI scene. In here, what I want to do is attach a script to the top UI node. Also, I did this off camera, so sorry, but I want to take my label that actually holds the score, and I want to name it score label. And I did it all as one word, because that's going to make the next part just a tiny, tiny bit easier. Um, I'll get to that other label later, but for now, we're just doing score label. So for top UI, I want to go down to where the scripts are, and I want to create a new script. I'm going to put this in my scripts folder and I'm just going to call it top UI, save, and create. Now the first thing I want to do is make a reference to that um, label. So to do that, since I'm referencing a node, I want to reference it using something called an onready var because it might not be ready when other things are ready that might try to call on it. So onready var just kind of guarantees that there's no race conditions in place. And I'm going to call this uh, score label is equal to dollar sign, and then I want to go to the score label. I don't have to use quotations around these because that's one word. If this were a score space label, the whole thing would have to have quotations around it. And that's all I want to do for the moment in here. We'll be back to this in a second. Now I want to go back over to my game window here, and I want to look at my grid and open up my grid script. And I'm going to be making some changes in here. So I'm going to go up to where my variables are, and I'm going to create a new section for my scoring variables. So I'm just going to comment this so I know what it is. Call it scoring variables. And the first thing I want to make is a signal. So I'll call this signal uh, update score then I'm going to make a variable for how much I want each piece to be worth. So this is going to be an export, so I can set it in the inspector, of type integer, and I'm going to call it um, piece value. The last thing I want to do is create a streak variable, so that pieces are worth more um, depending on how many chains there were. So this is going to be a variable streak, which I'm going to default to be 1. All right, so now I want to find where pieces are being destroyed. So that happens in destroy matched. When I destroy a piece, I want to emit a signal to change the score. So emit signal. And the signal I want to emit is update score. And then I want to tell it how much to update the score by. And it's going to update the score by piece value times uh, streak. So if it's the second streak, then it's worth twice as much as the first streak. Now, I also need to change that streak value then. So in here, uh, right before I refill the columns, I'm going to increase the streak. So streak plus equals one. So a uh, streak of one becomes a streak of two, and so on. And then after I refill, I'm checking to see if there are any matches. If there are matches, I exit. But if there aren't any matches, then right after I make the state move, I'm going to reset streak back to 1. All right, so I'm going to save everything here. Now, this isn't going to work yet because I have to hook up that signal, and then I have to actually change the score. So I'm going to go to my grid here, choose node, and I want to grab the signal I just made, update score and connect that to top UI, and that'll create a method. 
Now in this method, I'm going to, oh, I actually need to make a little variable in here too that I'm going to call current score. Current score, I'm going to default that to zero. We'll talk about how to make high scores and stuff and have those save between playthroughs, but for now, we're just going to do it this way. So current score, and then in on grid update score, I'm going to say current score. Oh, and this needs to have an amount to change. So I'll just call this amount to change. So current score plus equals amount to change. So we're updating the score. Then I want to change the label. So I'm going to say, oops, score label is equal to, and I have to cast this as a string because otherwise it's just going to be a um, an integer. So string current score. There we go. Now I also want to update the score when I start the game. So in my ready function here, I'm going to do on grid update score. And I'm just going to pass in current score because we're going to start with zero. So I'm going to save that. And let's see what I broke. Let's hit play here. All right, it's starting up. That's a good sign. Um, but these didn't turn into zero. So let's see what happens when we make a match. Oh, cool. So we got an issue. Um, oh, that's right. So in my grid here, I didn't tell it what the piece value is. I'm going to set the piece value to 10. So 10 per piece. Let's hit play. Let's try it now. So still not updating. All right, so what's up with that? So in my top UI here, on grid update score, current score, amount to change, current score plus equals amount to change, score label. Oh, I'm setting the score label. It needs to be score label dot text. There we go. So let me save, let's hit play. We'll know we're doing good if we have just, yep, single zero there. That's a good sign. So let's uh, let's make some matches here. There we go. We got 50. Let's see if we can make it so that we have a, uh, a combo. So do, do, do. Let's go down here. There. All right. You can see that successively these are worth more and more points. So the first set was 10 points each, and then after that it was more and more. Now when I do these, these should be worth 40 points. One, two, three, four. Oh, nope, it was actually worth 30 because we didn't destroy that one. I'll have to fix that. Um, but you can see that the amount that each match is worth goes up as you get more matches. So there we go. We have a streak uh, system with our scoring. So yay. All right, so next time we'll start taking a look at the um, the move counter or just like a, a countdown counter. Then we'll get to the color bombs and then we'll start talking about uh, level conditions. So like so many of this one, so many of that one. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments down below. You can follow me on Twitter. You can join my Discord. Discord's actually a pretty great place to be. There's a lot of people who are very knowledgeable there. So um, really short message after this. Uh, otherwise, everybody out there, have yourselves a wonderful day. If you enjoyed this video, consider giving a like, subscribing to the channel, or telling a friend who might be interested. Also, please consider following me on Patreon. For as little as a dollar a month, you can earn access to tangible rewards, like early access to videos, backer-only videos and series, polls for future topics, streams, and even individual tutoring sessions. You can find a link to that in the description. And as always, have yourselves a wonderful day.